So what are your strengths? I'm an optimist and a positive thinker. Hmm, that's interesting. Can you give me an example of that? Yes, sure. When do I start? What's up everyone? This is Mirel from All Placement Assistance and in today's video I'll show you how to answer one of the most common interview questions and that is what are your strengths? This is a classic interview question that can come in various other forms such as why should we hire you, uh, why are you a good fit for this role, uh, how will your strengths bring value to this role and so on and so forth. There's so many versions of this uh, question uh, but the trick is the answer will always be the same and it will have, always have the same structure. So that's why it's very very important to prepare this question before the interview. In this video we'll be looking at why do interviewers ask this question in the first place, what are some tips and tricks when answering this question, uh, a great formula, I'll give you a great formula for uh, answering it, and last but not least how do you identify the strengths, each individual strength for each role, how do you tailor your answer for each role. So why do interviewers ask this question? First of all, they want to see if your strengths are suitable for the role. Uh, then they want to see if you can back up those, those strengths with some examples from real life experience. Uh, and they also want to see if you're self-aware, if you thought about this before. It will be really odd for you to say, oh, I never thought about my strengths before, <laughs> because uh, that will show that you are not self-aware, you're not confident, and it will be really odd to say, I don't know my strengths. So let's go for tips and tricks. The first tip is you need to balance how much you sell yourself. You don't want to undersell yourself uh, because then you will look uh, shy, not confident uh, and less competent for the interviewer. But you don't want to oversell yourself because you will look too arrogant, uh, cocky and uh, nobody like Prince Joffrey, right? Except Cersei, I guess. And maybe Jamie. The second tip is that you need to showcase your strengths by telling stories from your past experience. And a great way to tell a story is by using the STAR technique. And for those of you who are not aware of what STAR stands for, it stands for situation. So you're telling what was the situation they faced, uh, what was the task at hand, how did you act, so action. And the, the last part one is result, very important. So what were the results of what you did? And we're going to give you some examples in the formula section of how you can use the STAR technique for that. The last tip is that you need to keep it to three. And that means that you need to stick to three strengths, not two, not four. Um, the idea behind that is that the brain assimilates much better groups of three ideas and that's scientifically proven. So don't go for two because it will be too low, uh, you, might, you might undersell yourself and don't go for four because you might go on the oversell bit. So three is a magic number. So what's a great formula for a good answer? I like to use EHS. That's not a really cool sounding acronym, is it? Mm. So EHS stands for your experience, your hard skills, and your soft skills. The first bit of the formula is your experience and that is basically your industry knowledge. And while I know this is technically a hard skill, um, it's very important to emphasize your experience uh, every time during the interview with every question and this is a great opportunity to do that. And a great formula to use to uh, present your experience as a strength would be uh, one of my main strengths uh, is that I have extensive experience in the, and you mentioned the industry, doing this type of role uh, while I was working as a, and you mentioned which roles you were working in. The second part of the formula, the H, uh, stands for hard skills and uh, these are those skills that you gained through your experience, through your education, through your training, um, uh, trainings and so on. So you, you need to pick one of those hard skills that are relevant for the job and present it here. Uh, some skills, and you have some examples on the screen, uh, could be programming skills, Excel uh, software management tools and so on. Uh, you need to pick one and a great formula to use again for emphasizing a strength that is your hard skill would be during my time in, and you mentioned the company, I have developed my, and you mentioned the hard skill, um, as I had to do, and you mentioned what you did. So for example, during my time in Lloyd's, I have drastically improved my Excel skills as I had to analyze large databases and create complex reports and dashboards. The last part of the formula are the soft skills and these are your personal traits, uh, the ones that shape how you work. 
Um, and some of them could be you are a very great team worker, you are a great communicator, you are very good at problem solving, and so on and so forth. You can see on the screen some examples. A great way to present your soft skills as a strength is to use the star technique that I just mentioned to tell a story. And you can say something like, in my role as a, uh, and you mentioned the role, I had to, um, and you mentioned what was the problem, so I have, and you mentioned what did you do, and then the result was, and you mentioned what was the result. So, for example, in my last job I had to solve a really complex problem around a huge backlog of work that the team had. I have applied the A3 problem solving technique, identifying the root causes, prioritizing solutions and implementing them. The result was a decrease of 60% of the backlog in the next two months. And that's your EHS formula that you can use for answering what are your strengths. And again, it's uh, your experience, one hard skill and one soft skill. If you want to find more useful formulas like this one, be sure to visit outplacementassistance.com and download for a great price our complete interview guide. I really recommend this guide because it has over 100 interview questions uh, from classic interview questions such as what are your strengths to character and competency questions uh, and even brain teaser questions such as how many babies were born in the UK last year. So what do you need to do in order to find the right strengths for each individual role that you apply for? Well, it's really easy. Usually the strengths are in the job description itself. Uh, so you can read the roles, responsibilities of the job, and then in the bottom bit you will have what are the strengths, what are the qualifications that are needed for each role. If you don't have that in the job description, you can search other job descriptions for similar roles and you can work around that. So let's take this head of optimization role as an example and we can read through, as I said, the job's responsibilities first and we already see from the get-go what the company is searching for and what kind of things we can use when presenting our strengths. We can see things such as knowledge of credit cards here or being the driving force of change and optimization across the entire customer journey. What's even better, when we move to the bottom part of the job description, we can read what are the qualifications and experience needed for this role. So if we pick three strengths using the AHS formula, uh, the first one should be around experience, right? And that stands out in the first bullet point. So um, I would start with one of my main strengths is that I have extensive credit card and financial services experience. Uh, as I did a lot of operations and, and change projects while I was working as a Lean Agile program manager. Then I will continue with the hard skill uh, and we can see that the job requires project management certification or significant project experience. So my second H will be, uh, my second strength will be around that. So I will say something like, I also have very strong project management skills, which I developed during my last four roles. Uh, I'm Prince to certified, I also have implemented over 10 projects by using this methodology. And then for the soft skill, I would pick the ability to work under pressure uh, because this is a really good soft skill, a really good skill to have. Uh, so I would say something like, last but not least, uh, I believe that I'm great at working under pressure and I have a great track record of working under pressure. For example, in my last project, I had a very tight deadline, so I had to reprioritize all the work, mobilize all the stakeholders and rethink the way the project was run. Uh, in the end, this was a great success and I managed to even deliver the project one week before the deadline. You can see there that in my last example, I used the STAR technique to tell a really, really nice story to say what was the, the situation was, what was the task, action and result. That's it everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it useful, please like, subscribe and hit the bell button, but also comment in the comment section below how did it help you in your interview process, what skills did you pick, or if you have any future ideas for our next videos. If you want to have more content like this and if you want to have a complete collection of the interview questions, feel free to download for a really, really uh, low cost our interview question guide with over 100 interview questions explained. So thank you so much again and see you in the next one. So why do interviewers ask this question? First of all, they want to... I don't know. <laughs>